cannot decide uh, whether a people or a community should have a heightened security or not. That is left for the government of the day to decide. So they have made their self claim. Each of the attacks, there's always uh, something, there's always a remote cause. In this case, they don't want the military in Zamfara. Uh, that, is, that is not something uh, we can just uh, undermine or the government can undermine. It's for government to take such decisions. And um, in Benwe, uh, we are sure that it is not far from political violence. Uh, so what I can say from Benwe State, because previously they've had things like that. Uh, there was a time the anti-grazing law was passed in the state by the governor, and uh, they had series of attacks in that state. And now one of the attacks, if we profile the attack in Benway State, we see that it came from the southern district. So the north, uh, the, the eastern district and the northern district, there's no attack there uh, from what we compare to that, uh, the, the southern district where we had the former Senate president. And so even the incoming, uh, the governor-elect is from somewhere around, I think Van Dicke also does his uh, place of birth. And that's uh, around uh, the east, uh, uh, the east district. So we see this attack concentrated in the southern district. So from there, it is very clear that it has something to do with politics. Uh, the, the, there was a cash crunch issue. Uh, people didn't have enough cash to to run their businesses. You must understand that these people in the underworld they also need money to run their businesses. Everyone needs money to fund these operations. And with the policy, the cashless policy from central bank. It really helped to cop some things at that moment. So there was no way, all sort of movement, were, we, had, we had a restricted move or reduced activity at that moment. Everything was affected at that moment. And that is one point. Secondly, they all had candidates of their choices. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that these people carrying guns to fight a legitimate government, there is always an underlying cause. Definitely, they are not happy with certain issues in the country, and they believe the way they can express their own... Uh, frustration is by carrying arms. And during the election time, I believe there was like every four years or every eight years, there's always hope for everyone to see a new government rising. Mm. Probably maybe those hopes were dashed. And of course, they went back to the creeks with their guns again. That's what I can take from that moment. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.